All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We're day three. We're three points into spears. And we haven't found a single spear magazine yet. I have also know where I am now. The Seven Days to Die map renderer. If you just if you just type in Seven Days uh, renderer, it'll be the first link has been updated to 1.0. And uh, I know where we are. We spawned at the worst wrecked, like I thought. This wrecked is nowhere near a city. It's the only one that's nowhere near a town in the whole of the forest biome. We're on the right side of the map. Near, if we go, if we go east, if we take a road at Rex and go east. We're going into the snow biome. Is how far we are to the east of the map, which is um, the worst side of the map to be because we have to go all the way to the west side of the map to get to the burnt biome to get to Jen because that's where they're going to direct us next. So even though we just built this whole thing, I think I'm going to restart the map here. Uh, this is just, I'm just doing this quick video. It's, it's too far. We started in a, the, like the worst position on this map that we could have. I don't want to travel 600 miles. Well, 600 kilometers just to get a tier one quest done. It's too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new map. We did pretty good, but the problem is, is we just also did get, get any spear books. I'm going to probably still go spears and everything. We just didn't get any spear books or anything. I've added a couple of mods as well. One of them is that we now have quick stack. It seems to work. I haven't seen any issues. I've had no issues in the console or anything like that. Uh, Kane has also released his updates. Um, I, I've only downloaded a few of them. I don't have the bigger tool belt yet because the War of Giggle Fairy hasn't updated their add-on to kind of use their UI with the updated um, with the uh, tool belt yet. Uh, so I'm still waiting on all of those. I do have Kane's um, uh, HP bar now as well. Like I said, uh, or Giggle Fairy hasn't updated yours yet for their mod UI. So I'm using Kane's. Um, I've also downloaded a mod that uh, gives us a lot more uh, food items we can get a lot more different seeds uh it's called consumable plus um so let me see real quick um let me see if i can bring this up real quick so i can show you it uh, so i can talk about it here let's see it's down here where is it there's a couple other mods i've done um it was one of the early ones this morning. Yeah, consumable plus 1.0 compatible. It has like, uh, it says it says like uh, 19 new crops. Uh, the empty jar is also back, which I kind of want. Um, syrup and stuff. Uh, all the crops naturally spawn in the prime forest biome. They are rare to keep balancing. They will need to start a new world to see the plants in the wilderness. Um, there's uh, red onion, white onion, sweet onion, almonds, tomatoes, olives, puri puri. Dishes coming soon. They don't have dishes for it yet. Red cabbage, green cabbage, coca beans, calantro, kil parsley, sugar cane, carrots, garlic, wheat, oregano, cinnamon, iceberg lettuces, and consumables. They've added chicken noodle soup, garlic chicken, chicken and dumpling, chocolate milk, French onion soup, garlic bread, chicken alfredo, cake, cookies, salad, which is healthy, <laughs> apparently. German cuisine, it's an inside joke apparently. Bread pudding, French toast, and premium canned chicken. Which you probably need for the chicken noodle soup and garlic chicken and stuff, chicken and dumplings and stuff like that. So, I wanted to try that mod out. I haven't ever tried it before, so it's going to be kind of interesting to try that out. Um, let's see, what else have I downloaded? Let me go to open folder location here. So let's see, G uh, Guns, Nerds, and Steels has also updated his own personal mods he uses. 
Uh, one of them is beautiful bases. It just gives you a bunch of decoration items you can put in your base. Uh, the other thing is warmer weather, which uh, makes it not as rain as much. Uh, I didn't really experience that with ours, but I decided to go ahead and use it because it it not only does that, it changes the uh, weather, uh, the look of the burnt biome. It's not as not as foggy as it, as it would be. So that's kind of really why I have it, because it's really bad. He hasn't changed anything in the wasteland yet. He's, he's thinking about it, I think, last I heard. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I didn't download his 2x2 two two Dew Collector, because I probably, if I use a Dew Collector, I'll probably use one that uh, changes it where it works faster or doesn't use any heat, because there are a couple mods that do that. Um... Let's see, there's also iRobot Trader showed POI names I put in here. So when you do a quest for them, it'll show the name of the POI next to it. So you can, if you kind of recognize names, you, if you play the game enough, you'll recognize the name so you know what some of it is. Like the dollhouse and stuff like that. That's what we were living in was the dollhouse, which is a pretty good one. Um, early on, the... Uh, I've got Kane's three foot forge, his HP bars, the spawn and claims deal. So that allows you to adjust the number of zombies and animals that can spawn and the number of cane blocks you can place down. Um, uh, zombie reach adjust has been updated. That is first on my list I downloaded today <laughs> to put in because a uh, damn day have way too much reach, especially the crawlers. The crawlers are the worst ones. Um, the uh and then quick stack has been updated and as you saw when we were in there it seems to work i don't have any issue with it there's no red text or anything in the console so i think we're okay with it he said it was very very experimental to try it out with the new storage deals i haven't run into an issue with it so we'll see how it goes the i think one of the big issues maybe is once you upgrade it to see if it still works or it might just crash your game if you do that so we'll have to see and then um, there is another mod that I downloaded called More World Generator. Something new um, that I haven't seen before. Now, one of the things this does is it allows you to make 13 and 15k maps. I'm not interested in that. The main thing I'm interested in that this does is it increases the cities generated. Because as you saw in our map for this map we just made, it's bad. It's really, really bad. You do not get big cities anymore unless you go into the XML files and edit it yourself. You can do that if you want to do that yourself. I personally just going to download this. I just downloaded this mod and put it in and we're going to use that to make our new map uh, next time. So uh, in here in just a little bit, I'm I'm going to be taking me a break for a few minutes and uh, getting me some dinner. This will be kind of an, a, a little small. It's not really an episode, I guess, just a quick hit. And I will actually be releasing this video and uh, the net, the root new, new map and stuff like that. Day one of it and everything in uh, one day. So kind of going to go through that. Um, there are some more interesting mods, but I decided to hold off on any of them right now. Uh, we could get cucumbered. It basically just changes the deal, the little icon down there when you have like over your carry limit just to cucumbered. It's for Joe Woodle. He always says you're cucumbered um, when he's overweight. Um, there's a couple other things that are interesting. A lot of a lot of what we would be really cheaty ones that I'm not interested in right now. Uh, for some reason, a, a mod called Custom Sort, which looks interesting, is updated, but the requirement for it, the one it requires to use, doesn't isn't updated for 1.0. So I have no idea how he says it works for 1.0 when what you're supposed to use doesn't work. Uh, it requ it requires advanced uh, pin recipes by OCB, and he hasn't updated that yet. Unless this guy's got some kind of secret, super secret special download for it or something. But yeah, you can't don't you don't use that because you can't use his requirement. So I have no idea on that one. Um, people are playing around with the um, the 
buffed that you get for like having a set on people are making it where you don't have to have a set on. if you don't have any set on you get a buff uh one of them calls it sexo tyrannosaurus and basically um uh, if you don't have any uh set on no armor set bonus and you you have to be no armor you have to be player level six and you get melee weapon and tool decrease stamina loss, melee weapon and archery fast attack, sneak damage up, healing factor, food loss 50 to 95%, decreased food loss, water loss, decreased visibility, visibility and noise, mobility, jump strength, and movement speed up, barding up, head light, player level 30. Why? Why, why even? I mean, I do some, I'm not going to lie, I do some cheaty things. Like I have zombie reach adjustment, stuff like that. But this just means you don't even interact with part of the game. You don't use armor at all. There's there's no need for it. You're basically you're basically better off without armor at this point when you're using a mod. Kind of cool, but it 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 wouldn't be something fun for me. So that one just loses me. Um, uh, let's see. O OBC OCB has out uh, has updated their uh, micro splat mod to 1.0. It's just a demo right now on a couple of them. His optional files say they're a demo mod replacing asphalt gravel road textures and the snow one as well. And that's pretty much it right now. So I de I decided to pass on that one until it's fully released. Um, A lot of De Dewata's uh, mods are available if you use Dewata stuff. I don't. They're interesting, but I'm just not interested in using them right now. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be changing my 24-7 Trader mod uh, to this other one. It's called Traders and Vending Machines Restock Every Day. Um, it, what it does it's um they restock every day like it says but it also resets quest it also resets quests every day do those kill us six kilometers plus all the way i have no idea they reset anyway so that's a new one um it says all traders are open 24 7 restocks daily rebalance prices main v1 file is now going to be the focus as an all in one there's a optional files as well, but those are previous, uh, those are old alphas, so you really can't mess with those right now. Um, Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to try it out and see and see how it is. And we'll see how that goes. Um, those are only the ones on Nexus mod right now. Uh, let's see if there's anything since I last refreshed it. No, doesn't look like it. There's a bunch of new mods, but I'm not really, uh, the only ones I really got that is the Trader Show POI Names Robot Edition. Um, also, if you do try to use that one, that one's a little bit weird. It doesn't have a folder in it. You got to make it a folder yourself. I just called it the, um, I just called the folder. I put the files from the uh, zip file in, Trader Show POI Names. That's all I left it as. So I, did, as, uh, so I know what it is when I have it in there. Because you can't, you have to have it in a folder, I think. You can't just have the mod XF, the mod info XML and uh, the config file by themselves. Um, on 7 Days to Die mods is all the cane stuff been updated. Looks like uh, there's a couple other things, like a couple POIs. Duwata's is also on here. Somebody released a 2 times Firester bicycle update, I guess. Um, a solar powered mod so you can craft solar cells and stuff is released so is a crafting for water filters uh, scrap polymer recipe 
um, a health and stamina mod, which just allows you to put like 50 points into 50 perk points into health and stamina to increase your health and stamina, apparently. And then here's Kane stuff that he updated. All of that stuff has been updated. Uh, Dewata stuff, uh, Old West Migration, um, more Dewata stuff, Dutas, Duta, sorry, it should be Dutas, should it be what I was saying, and then Consumable Plus on here as well, uh, Tiered Forges, so you can do a higher tier Forges, I guess they go quicker or something, more skill points per level, which is actually pretty easy in XML edit if you want to do it yourself. It's actually one of the easiest ones to do. You just go to the XML file progressions, and right there at the top, it'll tell you how many points you get per level. Um, and you just change it from one to two or three or however many you want. It's pretty easy. It's what I do now instead of downloading somebody's deal. So, like I said, I'm going to uh, get these and uh, put these up, and I'm going to, we're going to remake the map and do a new map and start over. I'm probably going to still go spears and stuff and uh, rifles, because I really want to play spears and rifles. So, we're going to still do that, and we'll be back and try again. All right, so I want to thank you for watching. I hope you all have a nice time. I'll see you all in just a little bit with day one of the new map. All right, bye.